All right, sick. That should be going. You should also be able to hear music. If you hear the music and it's too like loud, let me know, because <laughs> I need to control the the volume. I think that's a bit loud. Um, but let me know. I'll control the volume a bit. Um, uh, the music that's going. Um, these should also all be royalty free. They're all classical, um, so it's gonna be kind of just a vibe. I might actually restart this song because I really like this song. <laughs> Arabesque number one. It's a good song. Um, but yes, hello, welcome in everyone. Um, today, yeah, head empty. Hello, Oz. Uh, hello, Rise Riley. Welcome in, and hello, Enel. Welcome in. Um. Today is gonna be one of those like really chill, like not much happening streams again. Um, it's it's like in, in terms of like lesson the portions. Today we're gonna be just exploring Clip Studio Paint. Um, so a bunch of you requested you wanted me to go through brushes, um, so I'm just gonna go through my brushes, which means that it's it's giving me an excuse to set up my brushes, <laughs> um, because I haven't done that yet because I need to go through all the settings and whatever um, to fix up my brushes and to test them out. Um, I'll go through some of the default ones, too, just to see how they work. Um, but... Yeah, we're gonna be going through that. We're gonna be changing my shortcuts, finally, so I can use Clip Studio properly. <laughs> for, for me. Um, but, yeah. Again, it, there's also, like, nothing set that I'm gonna draw. Um, so if you'd like to just request something for me to draw, totally cool. Just request me to draw some stuff. If you want me to go over some functions, um, in Clip Studio, we can do that, too. Um, so yeah, it, it is going to be mostly request-based, um, chatting-based today. We're not really going to be doing anything crazy. Hello, South Bay Creations. Welcome in. Um, uh, but yeah, before we get going, though, y'all know the drill, because if you didn't know, our community, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together. So if you're an art nerd, too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below. And check out our website for art class offerings, where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors, because we're not just a YouTube channel, we are an art school, too. So if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month, where you can get access to tons of perks like my working files, critique sessions, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots. So be sure to check those out before they are gone. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Mind bicycle, so true. Um, <laughs> do you want me to draw the mind bicycle? I'm not doing that, Oz. Um, I might do that later. We'll see. Um, yeah, we're gonna go through the brushes. So I'm just gonna go through this fun little window. I've pulled it out for you. These are my main brushes. So these are just like the main brushes that I use all the time that are in Photoshop as well. Oh, no, it's not. I need to reload these in. Hang on. Let's do that. Let me, let me reload those in. Can I do that? Oh, wait. How did I load these in last time? <laughs> Downloaded material. Download material, no. How did I do this last time? I straight up don't remember. Hang on. Hang on. Provisional material? No. <laughs> How did I load my brushes in last time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. These are just the brushes that I have regardless. Um, actually, I think I need to open this window. Texture density, what does this do? Oh, it's the flow. It is the flow, okay. So this is at 34 in Photoshop. Oh, let's lower that so it's a bit closer. So it's, ah, yeah, 20 looks good. 20 is about what it is. Brush density. Mmm, yeah. Cause it's not supposed to be very large. You're not really supposed to be working very large with this brush. Whoops. Yeah, something smaller. Hello, Kiara. I use Clip Studio. Yeah, hello. And hello, Zachary. Welcome in. Hi, Salty. Watch Jesse suffer. Hello, Gigi. Drop down menu, import sub tool. Which drop down menu, Oz? <laughs> oh, one of these? Navigator. Oz, what menu is it? He started early. Uh. K kinda. I mean, I'm just figuring out this pro- literally what this stream is, is we're figuring out Clip Studio together. 
We're kind of just messing around and seeing if I can make my brushes. Nice. Oh yeah, guys, let me know if the um, let me know if the music's too loud or if you want me to bump it up a little bit. Three lines top left of the subtool window. Ooh, you right. You right. Thank you. Paint brushes. Reload this. Is this the right one? Hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, this doesn't have my freckle brush in it, so... Can I delete this? I'd probably just do that, right? No, can I, can I delete the whole... The whole thing, probably. <laughs> Man. Okay, wait. So this is not the correct one. So maybe. Import subtool. Let's go to this one. See if this is the correct one. Come on, load for me. Because I update them a lot. Ah, this is the correct one because I have a freckle brush in my in my newest one too. Okay, so I sent a friend of mine the wrong set. Whoopsies. Oh. Hi, Sky the Aries. Welcome in. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This file dropped on the internet. Hello. Tis I an imposter. Imposter. Sus. Must be injected into space and super true. It's inner music. Yeah, for sure. Hi, Kenny. Welcome in. Um, but yeah, let me know. What's this one? Oh, I see. Okay. Because it doesn't retain the size. Oops. <laughs> I don't really use that one much anyway. Um, okay. Ultimate pencil. No, no. Ultimate pencil. Let's check this. Yeah, texture density. Super low. Okay. <laughs> Delete a whole group, drag it into the left bar, and then right click, delete it from there. It's madly inconvenient. The whole group, drag it into the left bar, right click, delete it from there. Which left bar? <laughs> Can I do this? No. Oh! What? That's so weird. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I feel like you should just be able to right click and delete it. That'd probably be a little bit more convenient. Okay, so then let's just get rid of this then. You meant like all the way on the left. That's super weird. <laughs> okay, that works. There's another one that I really wanted to mess up, mess with because the, the ultimate pencil is the main one that I really wanted to make look like Photoshop's again because importing them straight from Photoshop onto here makes them look a little bit weird. But if I like, Let's round up them here. <laughs> Texture painting, yeah. This one, I think, looks pretty okay, but if I zoom out, yeah, okay. Change the texture density a little bit. Yeah, it really doesn't like this brush. Clip really doesn't like this brush. I don't really know why. It also doesn't let me, uh, That one looks okay. Let's just kind of do. I'm making it really huge because usually I work with this one really huge. Okay. Yeah. Same with this one. Texture brush. This one's actually fine. I'll leave that. Uh, the ultimate pencil's fine. I messed with that. Hard round pressure. It's just a hard round. There's nothing crazy about it. Rough inker. Ooh, my inker works. Oh, fantastic! It works now. Oh, that's weird. The larger it goes, the that's strange. So I have to work with this really tiny? That's annoying. So I can only work on it when it's like really small. That's a bit annoying. That's fine. 
particle size. Yeah, it's like I have to like. Uh, that's strange. That's strange that it only lets me work that large. Okay, that's fine. You have to delete each one. That's a quick workaround. Still inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> I know you once said that you hate doing rocks, so I ask you to do the rocks while you figure out brushes and sand. Hyper realistic if you can. Yep. My goose flesh. I'm so late. Uh, we just started. We started 11 minutes ago. You're all good. I literally haven't done anything. Uh, but yeah, I can do rocks if I was to do like a. A rock with this. I recently learned some painting techniques, so I'm not as gross with them, I don't think. I'm still gross with them, but I think that I'm less gross with them now. Let's draw some rocks. Huh? Can y'all hear, hear the music fine? Anybody want me to turn it up or turn it down? Just let me know. Let's try to touch it into me. That's nicer. I think a thing that Oz mentioned once was like, yes, the same Oz and Chat mentioned to me once that he didn't like that clip didn't retain this like the shape of the brush when painting, and that's another thing that kind of annoys me. Am I able to move? Because this is an eraser. I guess I should just keep them all in here, huh? No, but if I want to, here, can I do this? No, can I move this to? Hmm. Oh, I can't. Can I move brushes and erasers between? Because this is an eraser. I want to move this to the eraser window. <laughs> Am I able to do that? I don't think so, right? Music sounds fine to you? Brown rocks to beach scene. Oh, you want me to do an entire scene? Oh, that I can't do. Um, well, I can do a little bit of sand underneath. I'm just going to do a sand and stone. Don't worry, there's method to my madness. I'm not just using blue. You shouldn't just use one type of gray when you're painting anything. Oops. Oops. Wrong. Oh, it's because I'm using the wrong brush. My bad. Let's see here. Where did it go? Textured painting. Thank you. There's a method to my madness. There always is. Especially when painting human skin, rocks, dirt. You should not be using just one temperature. Because it tends to... In a more stylized way, anyway. Because it'll make everything look a little bit boring. Tends to be a bit more open handed. Let me turn it down a little. Turn the music down a little. You can just drag it over to the left. Can I like, can I make it so it's like, I can't put it with the other ones though. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Hang on. Okay. You know what? It's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have just deleted that. Shouldn't have I? I can't bring that back, huh? <laughs> That's my bad. You know what? It's fine. We're going to pretend that I didn't do that. And we're just going to deal with the hard round eraser until I decide I'm a little bit less lazy and bring it back at some point. Woo! Hold and drag it to the left until you see it in the red line. It's how it works on the iPad. And it'll be placed under the current folder. 
That's not how it works, though. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. Okay, let's make a new brush just to, to test out some stuff. Hold and drag it to the left until you see the red lines how it works on the iPad. Yeah, but like if I... Oh, can I... Oh! I see. Uh, so I just deleted that brush for nothing, huh? That's cool. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> don't worry about it. That's me being dumb too. Don't worry about it. We all good here. This is why we're learning. Okay. Uh, reminder to everybody. This is not a stream where I am teaching you to use Clip. Because I am not amazing with Clip either. Like I can use it. Yes. But I'm not phenomenal. So this is a stream of me figuring out how to use Clip. <laughs> That's how next week is going to go too. Alright, you see the animation stream? I'm not an animator. I have emphasized that for weeks. Um, so I'm going to be doing a basic animation next week. Um, because I do know basic animation. I can't do anything crazy. Um, but I'm not teaching you how to use the animation tools. I am teaching you... Um, I'm not teaching you the tools. I am just... I'm learning them on stream. <laughs> just, as a, just as a heads up for anybody who joins in and is like, I thought we were learning how to animate. Nobody. Well, I'm learning how to animate. You're watching me animate. <laughs> just, just emphasizing that real quick before anybody comes in with some expectations. Like, I'm emphasizing that right now. Uh, are those custom brushes? Yes. Uh, these are my brushes that I um, either made or I um, bought or was given. Um, so yes, they are custom. So these are not the default brushes. Um, they come in from Photoshop, which is why I'm just kind of working with them. Or I'm trying to figure them out. Rocks. Can't wait for the animation stream. I am dreading it, but I'm glad that uh, you guys are excited. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is, that's like, if you think that I'm gonna struggle with this stream, I'm gonna struggle even more with the other one. Because I, I can't animate. Like, when I say that I can't animate, I say I cannot animate. <laughs> Did I learn how to? Yes. Does that mean I can animate? No. I'm currently animating a map part. What does that mean? Every night the cats get their 3 a.m. zoomies then cry all night. Oof. I do not own a cat. I have a bird. Uh, she doesn't do that because we put a cover on her and then she's just quiet. Um... Because there's no visual stimulation for her. Um, but... Yeah, I know. I have friends who tell me about the zoomies sometimes. CSP default brushes are pretty cool, though. Use them for a long time. Even my Oz branded custom brushes are more or less the defaults with added sparkle. Yeah. I use the defaults. Like, I am, I am a firm believer in that the defaults are just as good as, like, the normal brushes. Um... Or, like, custom brushes. Like, I, I used nothing but defaults for the longest time as well. Now I use, like, customs. But, like, when I was younger, I used nothing but defaults. When I say younger, I mean I stopped using just defaults when I hit maybe 17. So, like, trust me. Like, defaults are just fine. The thing with when you're painting, like, anything, is, like, if you think you need more texture, uh, you probably don't. Same with grass. Like, with sand, you shouldn't be painting every single grain. Like, you might want to give it a little bit of texture, but you shouldn't, like, try to paint every little thing in there.
Like, paint enough where it gives you the impression of sand, but more or less so, it should just kind of be, like, an extra little particle here or there. Or whatever. It shouldn't be anything crazy. Uh, I don't know why this became a sand painting tutorial. I guess I'm just kind of getting into it, but... Rocks and sand. <laughs> oh, yeah. How y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing all right, by the way. I forgot to ask. <laughs> Hope y'all doing good. Let me know how your week's been. Oh, did I change the latency? I don't think I did. Oh, it's at normal latency. Cry subs. Okay, so the, it's going to be a bit delayed today. I keep forgetting to change the latency. I'll do that for the next batch of streams. So it's going to be a bit delayed for everything. I was wondering why, like, the comments were a bit slow. I was like, why are y'all replying real slow to me? because I didn't change the latency. Agony. Welcome in, Tommy. The kind of art I do, there's really no need for really specific textured brushes. Fair, fair. I found that, like, I, I love, like, I never really thought that much about texture until, like, very recently, and I realized, like, oh, yeah, no, texture makes everything look better. <laughs> Like, just a little bit of texture to everything. It's like, ooh, yeah, no, that, look, that looks a lot nicer. Sand. I've been forced to paint with Zorn's palette recently, so I've really been into a more... to a more bright and saturated palette. I'm, this is like as much as I'm gonna do, by the way. I'm not gonna go any crazier than that. Okay, whoops. Okay, I'm changing my shortcuts as well. Let's move these back. Let's move these back over here too. Um, properties I usually put above, make that small make this much no no oh gosh what did i do what did i do no stop oh i haven't saved this file i'll save this file <laughs> this is a let's just save it as a photoshop document degree what is this what is this auto action i'll just put that back here because i remember seeing that in there layers should be this size okay cool Doing great. Got paid for commission. I'm contractually obligated to finish it. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I welcome the sand tutorial. I'm doing the beach scene. It's very much needed. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure that, like, you're not going too crazy with any of the textures. Like, textures are great, but, like, less is more a lot of the times, especially when it comes to textures like this. Like, if you're doing grass or if you're doing fabric. Yeah, less is more. <laughs> Must say CSP asset store, Aqua 3D, the best brushes and 3D models. My friend asking me why I'm broke, me slash I know someone you don't, but I, now my art and brushes and models clash so bad. Yeah. Be careful when working with 3D models because they do have, like, they're great. They're great for pose references and whatnot, but they can't, they have a chance of making your poses a lot more stiff, which is why I tend to work off model a lot um, because it tends to loosen up the characters a bit more because the models, the models are like you're posing them so they're a little bit stiff right so usually you can use them all they're like they're great for reference but you need to understand where you, the reference stops and then the actual illustration begins you know hello i run sauce okay that's my rock um what other brushes did i need to fix i think that's fine yeah the edge is oops the edge is nice and good still. The hard round works fine. The square is fine, which I haven't really fixed, but that's fine. Oh, you know what I need to do? Because... No, I need to... What was I think? Add the opacity in there. Add the other one, call it a sand brush, right? Colors again?
Oh, okay. That's not what I want. Um, Don't have randomized for chalk. Nope. Anti-aliasing. Nope. Brush shape. Direction of applying, thickness plus plus one. Nope. Spring effect. Nope. Strike plus strike. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I used to be able to. Okay, wait. One thing about classical logic. I'm reading this again because I know there's a thing here. Thickness for how wide. Flip our console brush density does spreads the weekend cap. When softening turned on, the brush density decreases on the brush. Brush there will automatically decrease. No. Brush density is zero. Because <laughs> usually there's just a button I can click on Photoshop to like turn on opacity by pressure. Which is just if I press lightly, then it's a little bit, then it's like painted. <laughs> It's like how this one works. It's like the harder I press, it's like angle texture. <laughs> Hang on. Is it the anti-aliasing? I'm just checking to see what's different. No, that's always been like that. Mara, pretty rocks. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. I have other painting brushes. Yeah, I am just figuring out clip today, guys. So it is like for those who are just popping in, I'm mostly just figuring out clip today. Um, so like you can just come in, request things for me to draw if you want. If I'm already drawing something, then like I mean, your request will get bumped back. But like if you want to request me to draw something to figure out some of these tools, and feel free to do so. It's just going to be a lot of me figuring stuff out and seeing how my brushes look, mostly. Um, so Marcy, Mar, sorry, Marlene earlier requested uh, rocks on a beach. Under ink, so the right of opacity folder is a square with a line through it. It's under ink. To the right of the opacity side is a square with a line through it. What? I see no square. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Ah. That's better. Nice. Let's turn down the music a bit. That's a bit loud. Okay. Sick. I'm going to begin with CSP with y'all. Wing Canvas recommend the course they offer about CSP. I can't remember the name. Which course? Oh, that's another thing I gotta do. Let's change my shortcuts. I'm actually gonna skip this sign. This is really intense. Why is it so intense? Um, the course they offer about CSP, like CSP's course? I'm not sure. I didn't even know they had a course, but I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what's the heavy? Let's test the alt and pencil. See how nicely this one works. Because if it's anything like how Photoshop handles it, then it's like, it looks better when it's smaller overall mini request how do you color in for example as a way to select everything a certain part of things and color those parts so someone do but never answer music making it seem like just put up bites ever on for real i'm like bro it's so intense um how do you color in for example there's a way to select everything or a certain part and then color those parts like select certain parts and then just color them in. Yeah, sure, I can do that. It's a Photoshop trick though, the way that I do it. Um, I'm not really certain how they do it in Clip, um, but the way that I do it is a Photoshop trick, but it works in Clip as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can do that with this one. I'm going to test out my liners as well. Oh, you know what? Before any of that, file. Nope, edit. Wait, file. Shortcut settings. Okay. Uh, where's the tools? Tools. Uh, create a new line. Where's M? Because it I don't want it to be M. Uh, selection area. Edit shortcut. Can I change this to L? Yeah, no, I don't care. Um, because now, yeah, because now the lasso is just that. Cool. I want V for move. I want this to be move. I don't know why it's K. Let's make change this to yeah, shortcuts. Where did K go? Let's change this to V. Decoration is V. Can I just delete this? Because I don't want I don't want a shortcut on this. I don't need a shortcut for No, no. Delete shortcut. Delete shortcut. <laughs> Gradient is G, yep. Correct line center is G. Blend is J. Fill is G, yep. File select W. Yep, that's the wand. Collection area, yep, lasso, operation, move layer, eyedropper, I, text is T, frame border, zero, boom. Okay, cool. Works for me. There we go. Now lasso is exactly what I want it to be. Beautiful. And now if I press B, only the brush will be selected. Nice. Finally. <laughs> the course is sponsored by Gal. Something or Gal X is an X is my memory is showing me. Hmm. Close to fill or just a magic wand? Not sure. I will figure it out though. Um, hope that sand is soft enough filled with shards of sharp shells. If it helps you sleep at night, then yeah, it's soft. Graphics leads that anyway. It took me months to remember. No worries. Um, I have no clue because I've never taken the course. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally real with all of you. I have never taken an art course outside of like school and like university. So, like, I have no clue. Um, we have digital art programs if you ever wanted to try them out. Um, but we don't have them for program-specific ones. It's literally just to improve digital art overall. Um, for the beginners classes, we teach with Medibang. So that's what you're going to be using. Um, but for the advanced classes, we just let you use whatever you want. Um, but that doesn't mean that the instructor is trained in every program. Um, so, like, I am, I'm, I teach mostly in Photoshop. That's what I teach in. Um, some of the others teach in Medibang or Clip. Um, like, I teach in Photoshop. Um, because I teach the advanced classes. Um, for those instructors who are, do not teach in Clip, I know that, I believe that Faye teaches in Medibang. Um, I believe that myself, Felicia, myself and Felicia teach in Photoshop. Yuri teaches in Medibang as well. Except for when she's animating that it's Krita. Um, yeah, but it just depends on what level of classes that you get. Actually, maybe Felicia teaches in... Maybe she teaches in... In Medibang. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to check to see how that fill fill works for you uh Jaco Henry because I need to test that out as well. That's one of the things that I want to try cuz I know that photo or sorry, Clip Studio has a thing. Cuz I know that Clip has a thing that makes it like easier to fill stuff in. These classes on the webpage, so I'm going to apply straight away. For sure. Yeah, you can read about what classes will be offered. Lovely Daria can pull that up. Exclamation point classes. Yep. Um, 
that'll pull up the classes that we offer. Um, but yeah, they're never program specific. It's all just in, uh, like just digital art in general. Um, I teach the advanced class. Um, I teach an advanced class, and I teach cartooning and anime mostly. Uh, I don't think program matters 99% of the time. Only thing I can think of is photo bashing being a ton easier in PS. Yes, uh, because Photoshop is traditionally a photo editing. Um, it's a photo editing software, so it obviously handles photo editing a lot better than Clip or any of the other drawing programs, because traditionally it's mostly meant for photo editing, not illustration. Um, they, lean into, they leaned into that within recent years, so that's why people are getting more and more frustrated with Photoshop. Um... I'm fine with either. I, I like Clip. I like Photoshop. Um, I am more used to Photoshop, but I have to use Photoshop regardless. Um, so I just stick with it because it's just more convenient. Um, but yeah, Clip. And in terms of illustration, Clip can do pretty well exactly what Photoshop can do. There's a few things that Photoshop handles better. There's a few things that, things that Clip handles better. It just depends on what your preferences are. Thank you so much. No worries. Closed fill tools where you can just select an area to color. It's kind of finicky, so I magic wand like a plebeian. <laughs> Understood. I know that Clip Studio also has... Like, I know that there's a thing in Clip where it, it auto-colors as well. I know that there's an auto-color uh, thing somewhere. Nope, if we're back to the top. I know that there's, a, there's an auto-color thing somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, let's line this and test it. Because I want to make sure that my lines are clear enough. Oh, I should have... Uh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't give me a pop-up window to change the name of it. It's a little bit annoying. That's fine. That's much faster. Beautiful. Angle texture. Can I change? No. Can I change? Ink opacity blending mode. If color minimized for stroke, I put aliasing. No, brush shape. I'm not dumb. I know that this one is in here. Shock casting. Texture. Texture. No. Direction. There we go. Stabilization. Add this, please. Thank you. I'm just going to start up my stabilization just for this portion. Yeah. Clip's stabilization is a lot more intense than Photoshop's is. Okay. I know there's such thing as vector layers as well. I'm assuming that this was lossless. So if I make it larger. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let's work with that. I was recently taught that by my best friend, animator friend. So <laughs> I watched her work and I was like, oh, they have vector layers. That's fun. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't like erasing though. That's nice. <laughs> doesn't like small erase I'm already erasing bits oh yeah it does not like that that's unfortunate um AI yeah, coloring yeah oh yes private or group mentorships as well if you ever wanted to figure that out 
Maybe I'll just work with it. You know what? I'm not really doing anything crazy. I'm going to work with a raster layer just so I can have... Whoops. Whoops. I'm just going to work with the raster just so I can use my eraser properly. <laughs> it's like now I understand why. I know I lied. Clips. Stabilization is not as strong as Photoshop actually handles a little bit wacky. Okay, funky. Vector Layer's biggest feature is the Vector Eraser. It's like the thing people show off. Oh, the Vector Eraser? Is there an actual eraser that goes with the Vector Layer? Okay. <laughs> I'll figure that out too. <laughs> I'm mostly just trying to clean up these lines so I can figure out some coloring stuff. I also tried looking up a bunch of um, Debussy tracks to put into like this playlist. All of them are like, all of them have royalties attached. My guy's been dead for ages and like I can't, I can't attach them because like other companies have like rights over his music. I'm like, man, another reason to get back into work, to playing piano, I suppose. Oh, if you have overlapping lines, the vector eraser will erase the overlap all at once. Interesting. Okay. Funky, funky. I guess the thing with my lines now is that I no longer do my lines, like, in the same kind of perfect way that I used to. Like, I kind of like some of the overlap and the weirdness of them. Like, I like to double up my lines and whatever. Like, for instance, here, I think I can double it up. Um, I kind of want to see how my line work would work with that, because my lines are a bit strange. When I'm working a bit more messily. Okay, yeah, the stabilization is a bit strange, because I'm not used to it. Main reason I don't use vector layers because it doesn't like the erasing to manually tape over my lines. Counts drawing with transparency is real life. Yeah. I noticed that. Like, it's like if I tried to erase, then it would, like. It would make the lines a little bit wonky. Which is, like, I, I don't really. I don't care. Like, I mean, you can work with a vector or non vector layer. But, like, based on just the lines that I tend to use nowadays, like, I don't think it would work very well. I know with like Photoshop you can also can like like turn your things into smart objects so you can resize and mess around with them so that, and they, they become lossless like you can make them big make them small like they don't lose any of their uh their quality but I haven't worked with smart objects in a while either so I don't really remember how to do it how long have you ink performed digitally? Like, how long have I been doing line art for digitally? Uh, uh, ever since I started digital, so I was 13 and turning 21. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Eight years? But eight years? <laughs> it has also been a very large amount of years since I have taken any math course. So. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I've been I've been line arting for a really long time. I love line art. It just like even since I was younger, line art has been my favorite part of the of the digital art process. It's just it's so relaxing. Coloring has recently started to become some of my favorite bits as well. Like I really like coloring or I've gotten used to coloring. I used to hate coloring when I was younger um, because it just took forever. Now I don't care. I'm like, yeah, I'll do, I'll do coloring. I think it's a lot of fun. Same with rendering. I never liked rendering when I was younger either. Just like digitally painting. A lot of CSP features make more sense when you consider it as being originally made for manga rather than painting or photo stuff like PS. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I always say, like, it literally does not matter what program that you use. It's like, it's just like what your intended purpose for it is. That's why a lot of digital painters prefer, a lot of digital painters I found prefer Photoshop over Clip. Um, just because Photoshop handles it a bit differently than Clip does. Um... Like, Photoshop's is very much for print accuracy and photo accuracy and whatever. And, like, special effects. Like, I know that Photoshop definitely has a... I believe Photoshop has a, a stronger, like, effects library than Clip does. Because I know that Photoshop has, like, 70 different types of blurs. <laughs> it has, like, a bajillion different blurs. Um... How do I make a character's head bigger? I drew a cartoon pic on Clip Studio. One character's head is noticeably smaller. So anyway, I can cut it, move it a little bit, and enlarge it. Yes. Um, so anything that you um, make too small, really easy. So say if like I go like, oh, hey, I drew a... There's a guy here, and his one head is like... One guy's head is like this, and the other guy's head is ultra tiny. Like, oh no, his head's too tiny. Let me fix that. So if, uh, normally it's M... To select for the selection tool, I've changed it to L for lasso. You just kind of swipe it around, hit Control T, and then you got anchors to move that bad boy and make him bigger. You're gonna have to account for um, your lines changing size unless you work with a vector layer, in which then this will not happen. Um, well, it will happen. Like the line will get bigger and smaller, but it won't change its uh, its quality. But yeah, if you use like your selection, you just kind of select around and you hit control T, you'll be able to make stuff larger, smaller, real easily. It's a really nice and easy way to do that. I'm going to add to this uh, library of classical music that I have, by the way. I'm going to do a deeper dive for more later on. I might make different genres of playlists as well. Maybe I'll go with like a lo-fi one one day. But yeah, again, y'all feel free to like literally request, request whatever. Like you can request me to draw a character or something. I'm mostly just gonna be messing around with how CSP works. Like, if not, I'm just gonna do, like, idle animation doodles, which just means it's gonna be, like, default characters that I draw all the time. Um, but if you have, like, anybody, again, within reason, that you want me to tackle, I can try them. Or you can account for the lines to change in quality, or can just ignore it, as I've elected to do. Some of the- I ignore it a lot of the times, but, like, if the lines are really different, then I redo them. I just straight up redo them. Because, like, if it's too different in quality, I'm like, no, I can't ignore that. You see that with some of the, some of webtoons, actually. Like, if you see some, like, webtoons that are, like, um, like, you can tell that they've kind of copy-pasted the, the panel. And, like, the, the characters, like, they had to enlarge the characters for, like, a face close-up, facial zoom-up. And you can see that the, the 
the image quality was lost while working um, because of that intense zoom. Like, I get it in terms of, like, the, the chain of, like, efficiency and whatever. Um, but also it's noticeable. <laughs> so I'm just, like, it, it's, like, my minor pet peeve, which, like, I don't, I don't think anybody needs to act upon. And I think it makes sense why they do it. Um, but I sit there and I'm like, man. You draw my son the sparkly angel and he's very lost right now. Of course I can draw the sparkly angel lost son. I can use him to uh, to test out some blending features. Because I want to see how well CSV blends compared to how I blend in Photoshop. Because it's very different. Because I'm very... I'm very... Uh, I'm very brute force when it comes to blending. So I want to see how it handles this way. Let's also test the other coloring method too. So... So what I tend to do when I color in something, again, this is a Photoshop trick, I select on the outside of all of my line art. Well, actually. Oh, there is a close gap. Yeah, so if I left it open, I suppose I would. Okay, so if I if I color if I select on the outside, Control Shift I that inverses it. If I create another layer underneath, just call it that layer. Go to my paint bucket tool. I'm gonna turn off refer multiple. Yeah, and then just pick whatever. I usually pick whatever color is gonna be the most prevalent. So it tends to be the skin tone and just fill that bad boy in and then i lock it i turn on alpha lock so now i can't color outside the lines but i also noticed while going through that you can also hit refer multiple and that means you can refer to multiple layers right if you turn on close gap, it'll close all the gaps that are there. Oh, that's funny. It's a little bit there. It probably won't be perfect, but it'll close certain gaps, but not all of them. Ooh, nice. It'll close certain gaps, but not all of them. Um, but the ones that need to be... Ooh, let's turn that down. The ones that do need to be closed will be closed. Ooh, it's still like... That's funky. Okay. Thank you, though. Interesting. Yeah, again, it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't matter what program it is. You're, the, the paint bucket is never perfect, so you're going to have to go back in and fix stuff anyway. Um, especially with how I do my lines, which are annoying and <laughs> inconvenient with their little tiny gaps <laughs> um, within them regardless. Um... Yeah, with CSP, you can, like, you can have closed gaps, which makes it a little bit easier. Like, this area here is gonna, I'm gonna have to fix regardless. This is CSP Sparkle Brush. This actual art always uses the default one. Because why and reinvent the wheel? True. Actually, I found a tutorial online that was, like, how to make a star brush. And my guy, like, took the, the stars from an actual city skyline photo and turned it into a brush. Which make, like, realistic stars. That's another thing that I should fix on CSP. Does it actually still work? I don't know. Let's, let's, oops. Let's test. Ooh, it does! Yeah, so it, it, like, naturally spreads out these speckles, which look great when you actually want to draw stars. Yeah, let's just continue to use the paint bucket, because the paint bucket's nice and clear. <laughs> yeah, out of all the programs that I've used, Clip definitely has the nicest paint bucket. Oh, let's turn on close gap real quick. Yeah. 
This will not close the gap. There is no gap. This is not a gap. This is, that's just an opening. So I have to do this manually no matter what. <laughs> I have no choice in this section. I just have to do that myself. It's okay. I expected nothing less. Some of my lines are just very inconvenient. It's just how it goes. Called lock transparency in CSP because we don't use fancy words like alpha. Yeah, it's lock transparency in CSP. I'm sorry. Um, for those who actually want to know why I refer to it as an alpha lock, um, a it's because Photoshop calls it an alpha lock. B an alpha lock is it's a game artist's term or a traditional digital artist's term because those are th a thing now. Um, uh, what it does is in in game terms in video game terms an alpha is you know when you have like a png you download it online oh i forgot his I forgot the, the thingies on his glasses um you know like when you uh download a png online it has little gray squares in the background that's your those are transparency squares right so like if you're working with transparencies okay i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to switch around who gets like priority here. Um, so traditionally, um, alphas, uh, like those little gray squares, it's called an alpha. Um, and in a game, in a video game, say if you have a tree that's there, your alpha lock on your tree, or the the Oh my gosh, I'm trying to talk at the same time as figuring out these functions. Um, give me a second. <laughs> Why is it? Why don't they just keep the opacity there by default? I feel like that's something that they should keep there by default. Um. Okay. Yeah. So when when you have a say if you have a tree in a video game, and like the leaves are on the tree, you know how they're like they're shaped like leaves and they're not just squares. So usually those leaves they are put onto they're put onto like a square plane, and those leaves have those little gray squares around them, which are read by the computer as a PNG or an alpha or a um, or transparent, and those are called alpha textures, alpha transparencies. Um, so that's why they say, like, when you're protecting the alpha, you are protecting the area on the texture that is transparent or an alpha. So that's why it's called an alpha lock. Uh, I'd really like to go in depth about all the rulers, including the perspective ruler. Yeah, sure. I can go over that because I do know how to use the perspective ruler um, somewhat. So I can do that as well. I can Maybe I can combine something with... drawn a piece like this in a while <laughs> actually there's the file called print gal hold on a minute ah did it so on here it's called a color margin, not a not an allowance. Got it. I guess I can test out by blending here now. Let's see. Oh yeah, it works the same. It's a little bit clunkier actually because it's a little bit more sensitive on on CSP. That's fine. Am I doing all of my shading and coloring on one layer? Yes. Why? Oh, I'm too lazy to make another layer. <laughs> I'm insane. I'm crazy. You can't control me. Uh, 
The way I've learned it is because pixels in PNG and CSS are described with RGBA and color transparency. Oh, fascinating. Uh, Daria, I'm pretty sure she means like because on on CSP there's a there's a there's a specific tool <laughs> that you can use to lock your perspective on. Um, because like in like those ones are just for perspective in general. With this one, there is actually like you can like. Uh, with this one you can actually like like tur turn on a ruler and everything will lock to that perspective it's it's really it's really helpful oops that's right i can stop multiple please thank you it's like it's like super helpful. I use it. It's like the how I do all my backgrounds in Grayson. <laughs> okay, I'm turning off the stabilization now. I don't need it anymore. There we go. That works. That's so much nicer. Oh my gosh. Masochist, yes, sir. <laughs> Hello, Skylar. Welcome in. <laughs> this is me just going like, yeah, no, I am too lazy to, to, to add more layers. I also do like working with small amounts of layers because my file sizes will get extremely large otherwise. So I just choose not to. Yeah, yeah. Line snapping in CSP is on the control one three, so I just turn them on by accident and don't realize until much later. That's how you turn it on and off. My gosh. Cause every once in a while and I'm like, man, what's up with the I'm like, why did my why did my perspective just turn off and then I just make a whole new ruler? <laughs> because I'm like, I don't know how to turn it back on. Man, agony. CSP does not like the square as much as it likes my texture brushes. <laughs> the square is a bit too much for it, I see. That's fine. I understand CSP. You do one and three or one, two, three with control. I have no clue. <laughs> Sometimes line snapping to turn the rules on enough, but click not. It shows a better way, but I will only do perspective against my will. I adore perspective, so I do it as much as I can, or like if people request it, I'm like, or like for backgrounds, I'm like, yeah, I'll do perspective. What? This whole page is going to be a, like a mess. For real. Can I do this? No, okay. I am glad that I can click and drag multiple layers. Oh boy. <laughs> I can click and drag multiple layers into folders instead of having to do one at a time. Feels great. <laughs> Okay, let's try some perspective stuff because I know. Let's just do a real quick, like, oops. Wonk. Um, let's just do a real quick perspective thing. What background should, what background should I do? Oh, it's this song again. Let's, let's just change that. Oh. If I just skip ahead a little bit, we're back to being good. <laughs> um, 
What background should I do? Where where should I draw? I'm just gonna wait for chat to catch up. Where where should I draw? I can drag turn off all the visibility at once. Fun times. Oh. I see. <laughs> Let me just create a a little square of perspective down here, a little rectangle. Yeah, this whole stream is it's kind of a mess. It's just gonna be me messing around for another hour after this. <laughs> Once again, feel free for me to like to request for me to draw anything. I do not care who. Just like give me a character or anything. Can I does this still work? Can I Ooh, yes it does. Fantastic. I would have been very upset if CSP did not have this. <laughs> you do not know what locations exist. Understandable. <laughs> Let's just do like um Let's do a kind of... Pokemon. Pokemon, I can definitely do some Pokemon afterwards. I'm doing a whole scene thingy first because somebody requested for me to figure out the perspective ruler, which is something that I do know how to do. Let's do some... No, this needs to be top down more. I'm trying to envision this real quick because this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of tough. What I'm trying to envision right now. So what I am gonna try to do is like a sunken city on top of an ocean. That you can see from the surface of the ocean so what i do okay so you notice how like there are perspective rulers on csp right there are perspective rulers in csp notice how i'm doing this all first by hand so what will help with using the perspective ruler is actually drawing out the scene first <laughs> without the perspective ruler so then you kind of understand your composition and you can work a little bit faster and know where to place the perspective ruler afterwards right for those of you who don't know uh, the perspective ruler on CSP is a tool that you can just place down that will automatically snap all of your lines to perspective automatically. Which is what I use for my comic pages, um, for backgrounds, because doing, yeah, can I do perspective without it? Obviously, yes, um, but it's not as fast. So if I, because I need to work faster, I use perspective ruler all the time. Um, some people use 3D models, works exactly the same. Um, I use 3D models for more scenes rather than just panels um, because the full scenes tend to be a bit trickier to do. Um, so what I do is I just... tack on extra bits afterwards. It's like for full background. Like if I have like a full illustration that I gotta do using the like using a 3d modeling software building up the scene and drawing it is a little bit easier oceans i'm familiar with those especially specifically sailing east understood i 
on a PS brush pack, so I download come with a perspective grid brush. Imagine not having those built in as a image in my head. I used to use those all the time. Beca even even before CSP had a perspective locking ruler, right? Because, like, you did not have, like, those anywhere. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. That was loud. Uh, but, yeah, definitely. A lot of traditional PS brushes had those. Like those persp like those perspective brushes. It what sucked is that they were never like the perspective that I needed. So it was always like, oh I have to do this all on my own. So I would, that's how I learned how to do perspective really quickly. Um Yeah, we'll say that this is like on an ocean. It's like underneath the water. We've got a boat here. Rule of thirds. I don't know how to draw a boat. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> rowboat. No, not rowboat 5e. Just just a rowboat. <laughs> I don't need a B and D specific rowboat. <laughs> Let's see what all of my friends have done to me. Just infected me. My, my entire Google search history is ruined. Everything that I look up now that's, like, mildly analog is followed up by 5E. A lot of people will just draw a line, duplicate and spin, duplicate, spin, duplicate, spin, until you have the perspective spiral. Super true. There was a thing in Photoshop where you could just uh, create shape. You could create a shape and um, it would be like a, a like a hundred pointed star so that it would create like a like an, a bunch of going out, like a bunch of point uh, lines going out from a single anchor. So you would just copy that a bunch of times, you'd get your perspective grid. Oh, same from DMing. Anything I look up ends with 5e or D&D &D now. Yep. <laughs> We're just locked with that now. Um, okay. So I'm going to do the... <clears throat> Hang on. There has to be a shape tool here, right? Rectangle. There we go. Let me just create a rectangle real quick. This isn't going to be filled in. Ooh, nice. Let me actually turn up the... down one more time cool just so I have the box there no sorry and then there we go now I'm gonna do put these into a folder I wish that I could just select them and then turn and open the like create a new folder and then all of them would automatically be in there that's what I really like about PS2 um, Ocean scene thing. Okay. So this is the perspective ruler. So this thing determines your horizon line. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it determines your horizon line. So my horizon line is going to be... Okay, now, so what you have to do with the perspective ruler, you have to kind of take two angles that you've drawn and everything will follow from that. So it'll create your horizon line for you and it'll create all the other stuff. So this is three point perspective. Somewhat. Oh, I should have done this first. Let's pick this square first. No, 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 no. Yep. 
ships, you see how far away. Let's do, let's do this one first. And then third point, which is going upwards. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now that I have that, right, what you have to do, this is why it's easier to build up your forms first and then actually put down your lines. So for me, I used this one building as reference. Because now what I can do, notice, right, because I have all these lines down, everything that I draw will snap to them, right? So I get perfect perspective no matter what. The eraser is not affected. Let me just turn down my brush size a lot, by like a lot. Uh, let's use my rough inker because that works now. Wait, where'd you go? Where's my freckles in my rough inker? And let's actually use a brown. I don't want to. I don't want to go too crazy with this one. But now, it's a lot easier to do my perspective. Because all of my lines lock. So all of my perspective that is incorrect will be corrected. So there's going to be a lot of incorrect perspective here. <laughs> Oops. It can also get kind of finicky sometimes. So it is a lot of just kind of working through it. But yeah, this makes perspective a lot easier. I believe I demonstrated this in a past one. Um, in a past stream. I don't remember which one. It was the one where I drew that liminal space with Kirby. I don't remember which stream that was, though. I had to look up some wombs recently. Felt the need to look up. This is for D&D. I swear I'm not planning anything. Soup's true. Uh, also, little blue highlighted option completely to draw freehand with the ruler. Yeah. There's a little... If I use, like, select object, I can turn it on and off. That I know. Um, I had to look that up. <laughs> What's nice about the perspective ruler as well is that it keeps in the textures of your brush because you're just drawing it. I'm also very grateful for the fact that CSP can still use my, um, what's it called? My shortcuts on my tablet because Medibang doesn't. And it can't read my uh, my pan and scroll for some reason. <laughs> so every time that I use it, it's like, oh yeah, nope, this this function does not exist actually. And I'm like, oh that's cool. <laughs> it thinks that I'm trying to zoom in when I use pan and scroll on my tablet, and I don't know why. CSP reads it just fine. It's like so close to being a tangent that like it basically is one. So I'm just like I'm I'm pretending I do not see <laughs> basically right now. Oh, it was repetition. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I don't remember half the streams I do. Like, that's my secret. I don't remember half the streams that I do, just saying. Yeah, 
Because with effective eraser would be useful because it would just erase all the overlap and lose the single swipe. Yep. I realized that. After I after I drew some stuff in, <laughs> I was like, man, wait, I should have used the vector eraser here, or the vector layer here. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine here. I realized after the fact. It's my own fault. Whoops! We're good. Sorry, I dropped my pen. <laughs> I find that drawing in buildings and just, like, general architecture is very, very relaxing. I never used to find it relaxing. I think when I was younger, I really, really hated it. And then I got older, and I was like, bro, this is, like, the best thing ever. It's actually so, like, nice and, like, non-thinky. It's gotten non-thinky because of these, like, functions. Doing the back then, though, not as non-thinky. I'd have to pull out a ruler and I'd have to, you know, do everything really, really quick. And I'm like, man. <laughs> it's only a tangent if you acknowledge it. Otherwise, it's just sparkling lines. True? It's not a tangent, it's intentional. <laughs> Insert my professors coming to bust down my door. It's not a tangent, Jessica. That's a tangent, Jessica. You can't have that in there. But I understand, but I'm also just, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, once again, y'all, um, I, somebody requested Pokemon, so I'll do some Pokemon after this one. Um, it's not a tangent, it's my art style. So true. <laughs> but yeah, this stream is, it's pretty chill. We're just gonna be talking, just kind of vibing. Figuring stuff out. Oh, happy March break to y'all if you have March break right now. I don't have March break for I am an adult and uh, I no longer get March breaks, but <laughs> for those of you who do have March break, happy March break. Oh boy. <laughs> I pl I think I placed my uh, my lines down incorrectly. Uh, I hope I didn't. No, I didn't, but this needs to be No, hang on. Select object. Yeah, this needs to be fixed a bit. This needs to be like way down. Way down. Let me 
they're not way down. Maybe what I've done. I think I put down my perspective lines wrong. That's great. It's fine. I'm doing nothing this whole week feels good. Yeah, no. I, I, technically, I took my, my quote-unquote reading week this week. I still went into class. Like, I had some classes that I still had to take. Or that I went to because I just like the class. Um, but other classes? Yeah, no, I, I skipped. I just... <laughs> The ones that I really liked, I went to. Like, I went to my life drawing class, because I really love life drawing. Um, however, I did not go to my history class. I did not go to my English class, because uh, I could not be bothered. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, these buildings are going to start to get wonky. I shouldn't have used this building as an anchor. I should have used these back ones here. Yeah, man, it's okay. I'm just going to pretend that these are okay. Right? I'm in free from homework, so it feels nice to scratch, stretch, sketch, and try to do anime sketches. Nice. Oh, Jesse. Listen, it's just, it's just how it be, you know, <laughs> when you're just tired and you're like, man, I can't do this right now. <laughs> okay, this is actually going to bother me if I, like, do this wrong. I don't want to spend all stream doing this, though, so I am, I think I am just going to, like, kind of call it quits on that one. I'll do a different sketch here. <laughs> I'm just going to call this oops lol. Because I don't want to spend forever doing this one. So perspective pretend this looks okay. <laughs> We're just going to vibe with that real quick. Nice. I know that I have to do this to crop or change the canvas size. Which is like, I don't know why I can't just like, you know, I can't just hit C on the keyboard and have it crop, but okay, it's fine by me. <laughs> Pretend it's a fantasy setting. Nothing has to make sense. A wizard did it, maybe. Yes, but the perspective I had in mind is not how it's working out here. Um, and I was just getting more and more confused. I'm like, all right. We're gonna... Because usually if I'm gonna do, like, a scene, I have one kind of in the back of my brain. Not happening right now. I also don't have a March break. Luckily, I've been on break since 2011. Understood. Yeah, we're just going to pretend that that's fine. Oh, you know what? I can kill two birds with one stone. Let's do... Let's do... I'm going to use a different brush. Let's do... Uh, let's do Pokemon at you. I haven't do Blue Cloud in a bit. Oh, that means I need a reference of him. Hang on. Because <laughs> I don't remember what any of their outfits look like. Please open up on this window. <laughs> on this. On this. Uh, please open up on this side of the screen. Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There's nothing crazy that was on there anyway. I always start with a scene in my head, which probably conflicts with what I'm capable of. Then who knows what comes out? 
See, I usually do too, but I was just trying to do one off the top of my head. I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's just, this should be fine. So I had no, like, I had no room for refinement or anything. Because usually when I do big perspective pieces, I do two to three sketch passes. Um, that was one sketch pass and a, all right, hope that works. <laughs> Perspective is something that I think, like, you do need. You need a lot of time to figure out. Even if you're really good with it. <laughs> oh, true. There's something crazy on there. His name is Harmon. Very true. Yeah. For the show that shall not be named. But, yeah. I do this week oh you know what i saw this week i went to go see uh the batman robert pattinson that was a good movie <laughs> the batman was really good i really liked the cinematography it was shot really really well and like also just the general story sorry i'm like i got really sniffly all of a sudden i don't know what happened there give me a second I don't know what's happening. As long as my face isn't uh, bleeding, I'm fine. And it's not, so we're all good. Want to go watch it? Yeah, you should. It's really good. Oh yeah, and so that marks like the first time I've been at a theater since like 2019. Or like, no, like early 2020. The last movie I ever watched in theaters was the the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Um, and now that it is coming out on April 8th, the second one, I believe I need to watch it again. Not gonna lie. <laughs> or I need to go back into theaters to watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Which, you know, I, I watched the first one and I was like, yo... I, I thought this was going to be bad, and it turned out to be really cute. And, and now, like, there's Knuckles and Tails in the second one, and I'm like, bro, now I have to watch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Finish the second Sonic movie, the curse will finally be lifted, for real. It marks the beginning and the end of an era. The release of the second Sonic movie is our, our absolution. Is that the right word? I don't think so. We will be absolved. Whoa, I love Clip Studio Paint. Super true. Hello, Feral. Welcome in. Or Grey Knot. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, I forgot to post and say that we were, I was streaming in Nerd Squad chat. My bad. Well, hello. Welcome in. I don't know how to use this program. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> I'm not good with it. So I did a lot of just housekeeping stuff to figure out how to use this program. I did kind of want to go with, uh, with oh, ow, like, the auto fill. I know that, the, like, auto color. How do you do that? Because I know that you can just, like, place in a color and then, like, have it auto fill. Paint unfilled area. Hmm. Hang on. I'm curious. What does this do? <laughs> what does this do? Okay, whatever. <laughs> for the only editing layer for the other layer can close and fill. So this one's in close and fill. So if I was to this real quick. Nope. 
What does this do? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty sick. Okay, I see. So if I kind of select an area that I just want filled with this paint bucket, it'll just... Well, that's, that's not what happened. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Nope, that didn't work either. Nope, that didn't work either. Okay. I see. So what it does is it, like, if you have, like, certain areas that are just, like... Whoa. That's pretty sick. So if you have, like, areas that are already, like, enclosed, and you just select them with that, it'll, like, fill them in. That's kind of finicky, but it's pretty cool. So, like, if you just wanted to, instead of doing the whole, like, wand thing, I could just, like... Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty sick! Do I seem just far away from my- I'm sorry. Hang on. I Yeah, I was kind of far away. I was leaning back in my chair. My bad. The editor filed that, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Hello, Evan. Welcome in. Set your line art to a reference layer, then add splotches of undercolor on a layer below and click. Close and fill is fun to use. Yeah, that's wild. That's super weird. Whoa. Let's just go back to this now, though. Where's my color history? I'm blessed that CSV has a color history. I, like, it feels so wrong when the program does not have a color history. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong color. This is the right color. That's the right purple. There we go. It's better now? Okay, excellent. Yeah, no, sorry. I was kind of leaning back in me chair. Bro, I had a dream that I had a pet cat, for real. I do not have a pet cat. <laughs> I didn't even know color history was a thing until you showed it. It's such a lifesaver. I'm so sorry that you were not that you did not have the thing like you did not have the knowledge of the lifesaver that is a color history it is actually like the best thing ever like like when i found out that medibank did not have a color history i was so sad i was like what do you mean there's no color history i have to color pick my colors every single time <laughs> Ponita. The way that I draw Galarian Ponita makes it obvious that I was a lot my little pony fan at some point in my life. <laughs> I will not reveal what age, but I will reveal that I was indeed at one point in my life a my little pony fan. Three thirty AM here. Wish it wasn't. Sheesh. Yeah, no. It's it's five forty over where I am. <laughs> People sometimes look at you, wonder what is going on inside their heads. Me, true. I am just. I am always losing it. Like that's just kind of my constant state of being. Is I am just constantly losing it. For real. For real. I'm kind of losing it right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> there he is, my lost and dubiously living son. <laughs> there he is. I need to bring him into modern AU more. 
he lives like across the country. So like <laughs> I mean, next, next big Star Lost comic question mark, perhaps. I mean, show that will not be named comic, uh, uh, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Star, the, nope. Show that will not be named. Yeah. <laughs> I blame the weather. Soup's true, actually. Yeah, the weather's been weird. Actually, it's been pretty nice. It was 12 out today. Fifth, like, it was 16 yesterday. Really nice. I was, like... I was actually living. I wore a new top that I bought. And, man, it it did look good. A, it looked good. B, it was appropriate weather to actually wear it. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. I'm so happy in the summer. I, I tend to not like the heat, but I actually have summer clothes that I want to wear now, so... I'd love to see him again. Same. Cute pony boy. Cute pony. Yay. He, it's a Galarian. Galarian ponita. He's Pokemon. Oz question. Would he go cryptid hunting? I don't know how to draw the emblem. I don't know. <laughs> I drew, I made all these designs and I don't know how to draw them. Hang on. It's nice, but it's swampy and muddy outside. True, true. I am allergic to the entirety of spring, so I'm going to need to start taking my allergy meds again because like I am horrifically allergic to pollen. So, like, I will be a sneezing mess if I don't, once the dandelions start coming out, if I don't start taking my allergy meds again. Oh, it's this song again. I need to take this off of the playlist. Let's just, like, skip that. <laughs> Jesse's new shirt that we were excited about. Yes! Oh my gosh, I didn't even post a picture of it. I'm not wearing it right now. I posted a picture on my private accounts, but, like, never, not to my publics. <laughs> It looks great, by the way. His cannon shop was basically hunting. Oh, true. Bang. So a bunch of them have to go cryptid hunting now. All right. Understood. Because I did actually, I wanted to draw like a beach episode type deal with them. Like a proper big one. Oh, lol. <laughs> Gotta organize these layers better. Okay. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, say so line art to reference layer. Okay. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna do Kirby for that. Ah no, let's do another Pokemon. Which Pokemon should I do? Uh <laughs> What Pokemon should I do? If any of you I'm not doing Pikachu, if any of you say Pikachu. <laughs> Uh, I could do my favorite one, but I don't know how because it's, but it's gonna take me a while to do Noiverns. I don't know if I want to do Noiverns. Zoom in on the rock, yeah, sure. My rock, R O C C rock. Actually, I want to I want to work on socks again because I'm like the hair is bothering me a bit. Yeah, there's my rock. It's a pretty okay rock. Y'all, y'all, give me a Pokemon. I'm trying to think. Jigglypuff is just mean, Kirby. Uh, I I can't say that, but I know which one you mean. Maybe. Hmm. It's thirty two total. Litwick, Charizard. I'm sorry, I'm not doing Charizard. I might do Litwick though. I do like Litwick. <laughs> 
any of like the original like just like the ones that always get requested i'm like i'm not doing that one i'm sorry <laughs> i might do charizard what brush is that these are my brushes feral so like these are uh the ones that i brought in like for just from photoshop i can give you my brush pack afterwards if you want it Turkey kiss. Mm. Yeah, these are just my brushes imported from Photoshop. If you want one, I can I can give them to you. Meowth. Sprigatito. I liked okay, listen, I liked the new starters. I was never obsessed. I'm not obsessed with any of them though. I think that they're all like very like they're pretty nice looking, but I'm not like obsessed with any of them. I need to see the evolution and that'll that'll kick me into gear. I will draw Litwick first, because I like Litwick a lot. I don't know why I like Litwick, I just do. Yes, please. Yeah, I can send them to you later. I think I have Litwick memorized. I think. I'm choosing the Pokemon that, like, I don't have to Google <laughs> right now. <laughs> Litwick from memory. Pokemon from memory. Let's just do a bunch of Pokemon from memory. I think that's about as much as my brain thinks that's going on with Litwick. Litwick is very head empty for me. The floating ghost tree stump. Uh, Phantom? I like Phantom. I don't have Phantom memorized. It's not even close. So I have to set this reference to... Convert layer... So that has to be a reference layer, Oz? I don't... <laughs> Set your liner to a reference layer. Add splotches of color underneath. Wait, reference or raster? Raster. <laughs> Cries, sobs. Uh, click the lighthouse icon. Ew! And then just add splotches of color underneath. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen Litwick because Litwick is just white. <laughs> let's make let's make this lip. Oh, let's do shiny Litwick. What color is shiny Litwick? I swear, if it's one of those Pokemon that's like barely changes the colors it barely changes the colors i'm so mad this is a cute pokemon though i like that it's blue flame instead of a purple one it's barely changed though i was pretty close to how it looks I'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna pretend that it's Start with a plus as a lighthouse. Yeah, I got it. Um, and then and click. Come back from a national history day competition. So of course I'm late again. That's okay. Welcome in. Edit colorize use hint image. Edit colorize. Use hint image. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what does this do? Oh. <laughs> Weird. I didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Edit. Colorize. Okay, let's just try this way. Oh my. 
Well, that didn't do much. Jokes. <laughs> okay. Edit. Colorize. Use hint image and colorize. You can invert the colors yet, maybe you. Or we're just testing stuff here. Okay, yeah, that didn't do much. All right. That was kind of that was kind of underwhelming. Oh, maybe I just used. Did I select the wrong wire? Hang on. Edit, colorize. Use more advanced settings. What are the more advanced settings? Blur strength. Oh gosh, let's turn that down. Let's see here. Oh. You know what? We're just gonna hit cancel on that bad boy. You need more splotches than you think. That's no fun. If you don't use a hit image, it'll just fill with completely random colors. Oh, funky. Yeah, that's less fun than I thought it'd be. Oh, why is my stabilization so high again? Let's turn that down again. Boo. Okay. Lit wick. Oh, actually. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and then if I go. No. No. We need no. Just pretending that that doesn't exist. Coward. Litwick. <laughs> Got second place? Nice, dude. Love to see it. Okay, let's do more Pokemon for memory. What else was re requested? It was... I'm not doing Charizard, I'm sorry. Um, Togekiss and Sprigatito. Yeah, congrats, man. Oh no, Togekiss. That's the third evolution. Uh... I know that it's like a. My G kind of look like this. <laughs> kind of look like that. I don't know that he's got like. Still got the these shapes on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this Pokemon looks like! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's it! There he is! That's the Pokemon! <laughs> that's- that's him! That's- that's- that's Togekiss! <laughs> um... Sprigatito. I straight up don't know how to draw this Pokemon. I've I've barely seen it. Uh... <laughs> Document the interim move where I can dodge city with a friend. Fun. Here he is. That's the one. That's the one. For real. For real. Okay. Uh, then you got like that. I'm doing Pokemon by from memory, by the way. I'm like I'm not looking up a reference for any of these guys. My Litwick from memory, not that bad. Not gonna lie.
Yeah. <laughs> Our dude. Oops. This fill thing is nice. <laughs> That's easy, dude. And you have red eyes? Yeah. Oh, and then he didn't he have like a he had like a <laughs> Those who know, those who don't know. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> You're giving him Garfield though. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Um, I don't know anything about that since I'm from Canada, but nice. Congrats. Yeah. Same. Could I do a painting stream for Photoshop? Yeah, for sure. Um, next week is another CSP stream. I believe that we're I'm about to plan a bunch of streams with uh, Faye soon. So, yeah, we can definitely... There's a few stream ideas that I can definitely pull up. Because I've got a few. Um, you don't need to have much skills. I don't know what Who else requested stuff? It was Tokyo Kiss Spring Dumb. Meowth. That's right. That's a that's a Pokemon that I kind of know how to draw. I think I've drawn Meowth once or twice. I knew I knew, I had Meowth memorized when I was a kid. I don't remember if I know it by heart now though. <laughs> I got two minutes. I can do Meowth in two minutes. These are just. Cool and epic Pokemon. <laughs> He's a chill cat. Yeah, 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 for real. Those who know, those who don't know. Hello, Riley. Welcome in. I'm going to change the size of some of these because I'm getting annoyed by the spacing. My pedal hates Mondays and loves lasagna. So true. <laughs> oh, let's turn up my stabilization again. I am annoyed at how this how this line works. You know, like this is this is three, right? And then as you get higher, like these tiny little areas are now like like the ratio of these spaces make no sense. I don't know why it's built like that. <laughs> like please like why aren't the ratio between each of those little things like the same? Like I feel like that's something that seems necessary. Or that should be necessary. What, what, what? Oh my gosh, my phone. Oh, these are so cute. And he got like... Meow, that's right. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Team Rocket was a vibe. Super true. Um, fun fact for those who don't know, um, like you know how like just Jesse is my nickname, right? Jesse is my work name. So like if you're in stream, you're most likely calling me Jesse. If anybody calls me anything other than Jesse, like most of the people who are in chat who have called me something other than Jesse are like actual friends of mine that I know. Um, but like Jesse is my work name, right? So, if you don't know me, it, like, so my real name is Jessica, right? But, uh, Jesse is just my nickname. Um, but because it was my nickname, uh, my brother's name is actually James. 
So for the longest time, in order to call both of us, my dad would just call us Team Rocket. So like if we had to go some, if we had to leave a place, my dad'd be like, Team Rocket, it's time to go. My brother and I would know to pack up, have a go. My G got like three fingers, don't he? I'm trying to, I'm trying to like remember. <laughs> He got like. It's been a very long time since I've drawn Meowth. Hang on. Did he have the. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that he does. I'm gonna look up all of these afterwards and like, and like cringe at how terrible I got this. And I know his tail kind of goes like. like that though. <laughs> Don't it? Something like that. My name's James too. Neat. Neat. Meowth, that's right. All right. I know what his colors are, but like, I'm just gonna, I think we're gonna call it there. <laughs> um, Let's fix his face. Actually, it's gonna bother me if I don't. Meowth, that's right. All right. He kind of looks like a Galarian me Meowth now. Now that I'm kind of like looking at it more. <laughs> This really looks like one of my doodle pages. Okay. <laughs> it's actually pretty on point. A bit lanky. But maybe he's built for speed as a threat. Super true. Yeah. Um, okay, wait. Let me change the size of the Pokemon a bit so I can crop this a bit better. Let's move Karen Socks and the Rock over a little bit. And then I can crop this a bit more. Nope, edit. Change canvas size. Okay, that feels a bit better. Okay, all right. I took sessions from you last year, it was really helpful. Thank you lots. Of course, I recognize your profile picture, yeah. Glad to have you in my class at that point, dude. A lot of fun. Um, But yeah, y'all, that's gonna do it for this stream, it was a bit of a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I hope that it was entertaining regardless. Um, again, if you don't know too much about the studio, we're not just a YouTube channel. We're also an art studio, as Riley mentioned. Uh, he took lessons from me before. Um, so if you'd like to check out the lessons that we offer, feel free to do so on our um, on our website. That's wingcanvas.com if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer. This week, there are no classes running, but they are going to be running next week. So if you'd like to check out anything um, that's happening because the uh, spring term is happening soon. Um, so if you'd like to check those up, be, be sure to check out the classes that we offer. Um, this file that you see in front of you uh, will be available as a JPEG on our Discord. So if you'd like to join the Discord, be sure to check that out there. Um, over there, you'll be able to get JPEGs from my working files. Talk to other art nerds. Talk to some people. Um, join in. Have some fun. Um, so if you'd like to interact, meet with some people... Uh, meet with me. I'm on there pretty frequently. So if you'd like to check out the Discord, feel free to do so. Um, but all of my files that have layers, if you want my layers, you're going to have to join our Patreon. Our Patreon is where um, working files and behind the scenes are uploaded. Um, so if you'd like to check those out, minimum $5 a month is where how you get my working files, but $2 a month will give you just behind the scenes. So if you'd like to check those out, be sure to check them out before they are gone. Um, but yeah, uh, next week is going to be very similar to this week. Um, I will actually have something that I will be drawing for the entire stream um, because I will be trying to animate. Um, I'll be animating an entire scene. Um, I'll, I think I'm going to be doing a ball bounce just to make it nice and easy. I'm going to keep saying, what happened there? Hello. Um, I'm going to be animating a ball bounce or something. Something real basic. It's not going to be anything crazy. Uh, a reminder again. Um, where I, I'm not an animator, so I'm not going to be teaching anything. I'm just going to be figuring out how to use the animation software on CSP. Um, so that's what we are going to be doing. 
Um, I've heard you guys are on EST, so I miss most of the stream. That's fine. Um, there's streams every week, um, so be sure to join in then. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's going to be it for this stream. That's going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see y'all next week. Au revoir. Bye-bye.